We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. A Measure of Humility, July 16th. In every case, pain had been the price of admission into a new life. But this admission price had purchased more than we expected. It brought a measure of humility, which we soon discovered to be a healer of pain. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 75. It was painful to give up trying to control my life, even though success had eluded me, and when life got too rough, I drank to escape. Accepting life on life's terms will be mastered through the humility I experience when I turn my will and my life over to the care of God as I understand Him. With my life in God's care, fear, uncertainty, and anger are no longer my response to those portions of life that I would rather not have happen to me. The pain of living through these times will be healed by the knowledge that I have received the spiritual strength to survive. Someone who knew what he was talking about once remarked that pain was the touchstone of all spiritual progress. How heartily we AAs can agree with him, for we know that the pains of drinking had come before sobriety and emotional turmoil before serenity. God will not put to us that which we cannot handle. Or more succinctly, God will not subject us to anything that together, us with God, cannot handle. He is the power. He is our rock. And when we stay connected in faith, we go into every situation with confidence to do our best and not to worry about the results. We are in the footwork business now. We let the spirit of the universe handle the outcomes. We are right-sized when our thinking is along the spiritual plane. Our self-centered, instinct-driven reactions didn't serve us well. And today we are grateful for our character defects having been removed. We act calmly and sanely because we know our higher power is there for us. We do not control anything and prefer it that way. His shoulders are stronger than ours. We do the heavy lifting of helping others to the best of our ability with love and empathy. We know we are miracles of God's grace and give credit where credit is due, all to Him. We respect it and pass it on to all who want and need it. A Measure of Humility, July 16th. In every case, pain had been the price of admission into a new life, but this admission price had purchased more than we expected. It brought a measure of humility, which we soon discovered to be a healer of pain. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 75. It was painful to give up trying to control my life, even though success had eluded me, and when life got too rough, I drank to escape. Accepting life on life's terms will be mastered through the humility I experience when I turn my will and my life over to the care of God as I understand Him. With my life in God's care, fear, uncertainty, and anger are no longer my response to those portions of life that I would rather not have happen to me. The pain of living through these times will be healed by the knowledge that I have received the spiritual strength to survive. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.